I'm Colton Chavez, and I'm standing outside the art studio, Pineapple Picasso, right here in Cape Coral. Now, if you heard the name and just went, aww, well, you aren't alone. But something you probably don't know is this studio has all of your traditional styles of art, but they also have some wacky ones, like what they call a splatter room. But the even better story is the owner of this studio and how she found her passion for art and the person she creates art for. I've got two greens. This month will be like the anniversary of her death. Um, and she had multiple myeloma. She fought it for two years before she passed away. Stacy Sawyer, owner of Pineapple Picasso, says she and her sister Tracy were two pineapples in a pod. We were both from Illinois, but when I moved here, she followed me two years later because we were that close. But after losing her sister to cancer. I kept getting told you need to go to therapy, da da da, all this. Stacy says her therapy came from picking up a brush and creating resin artwork for the first time. First, I started kind of taking over the kitchen table and, and it, it made me feel better. It was like therapy for me. Therapy that eventually grew into Pineapple Picasso. Stacy says she quit her job as a Lee County teacher and now teaches people better paint strokes, but also better splatters. There's so much going on in there and then you see the black light paint and everybody is just like, this is so cool. I mean, we even have paint that comes from the ceiling. Stacy says to see her dream bear fruit is that much sweeter because of what pineapples meant to her sister, Tracy. She liked it so much that I was like, you know what? I got to keep, this was one way for me to keep her alive with me is to just do everything pineapples. A piece of Stacy's heart and a tribute to her sister for everyone who comes inside. Yeah, she's she's pretty proud. I know she is. Your Cape Coral Community Correspondent, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.